So a little bit on, on photo systems, um, which again gets a bit confusing, um, probably because they've simplified things in, in the book so to, to such a degree that it, it sometimes when you start to understand the biology a bit better, it just leaves you with more questions than you actually started off with. So we might digress a little bit uh, into physics here, because I think it might help you understand things. Maybe it doesn't, you can disagree with us. Anyway, um, what we're talking about here is in the thylakoid, remember the thylakoid is um, this sort of structure with a membrane around the outside which is fairly impermeable to ions. Inside we've got a thylakoid lumen, so this is a thylakoid membrane, thylakoid lumen on the inside. And the photosystems are embedded in this membrane. And the way they show them in the book, uh, they, they kind of like funnels, I suppose, which will perhaps help you imagine what's going on. In reality, they're, they're big complex proteins. If you want to have a look at what they look like, um, you know, <laughs> you knock yourself out. Um, now the photosystems, there are, there are two of them called, imagine this would be photosystem one and photosystem two. It's probably easier to think of it in terms of um, the numbers. I say it's easier. Um, we're we're going to do photosystem one first of all. Um, photosystem one and photosystem two, both of them have at the bottom of the funnel chlorophyll A. Okay, and there are two forms of chlorophyll A. There is the P seven hundred form and the P six eighty form. What's the difference? Well. This number is simply referring to um, the wavelength of light that is best at absorbing. So chlorophyll A absorbs light best at 700 nanometers, and chlorophyll B absorbs it best uh, at 680. Now they, they also absorb the wavelengths, but we'll, we'll come back to that uh, in, in a second. The biggest wavelength um, is, is to do with red light. Okay, so 700 is, is red light. Uh, the other end of the spectrum, around 400, is, is violet light, but we're not worried about that. So 700 is absorbing red light. If you like, think of it as, here's what light looks like. It's a little packet of energy called a photon. And as you change the um, wavelength of these photons, it's a bit smaller wavelength, um, we would perceive it as different colors. So um, the, the bluey wavelength is even smaller. And something like let's have a purple wavelength, uh, even smaller still. Now the the photons themselves are not actually coloured. Uh, when they hit the back of our eye, uh, the retina, we interpret those wavelengths as colours. Okay, but really it's better to think of it just as a wavelength. So chlorophyll A is best at absorbing things at this end um, of the spectrum. It also actually though does absorb some down at around. 450. Okay, uh, let's use, I use the wrong colours here, never mind. Um, so it absorbs it around there and about 450 nanometers. Okay, um, there is another form of chlorophyll called chlorophyll B, uh, which absorbs um, around 500 um, and 640 nanometers. Okay, but don't get confused here. Chlorophyll B is not involved in the photosystems, it's chlorophyll A that is involved in the photosystems, okay? Right, so here's photosystem one, which is absorbing P700. Now, if light, if photons happen to be hitting it, um, that are the right kind of wavelength, great, it can absorb it, it can use that energy to um, kick electrons up to a higher energy level. Remember this idea of the Z scheme, where we had electrons, getting up to a higher energy level, then as they drop down, you can use that energy. Where did the electrons come from? They came from the splitting of water, photolysis. All this is happening um, in, in this membrane. But if all you're absorbing is 700 and a bit of 450, it's not that um, not that efficient. You know, what about all these other colors that you could be missing out on? Well, that's where we bring in these other pigments or accessory pigments. And this would be things like uh, carotenoids, which have an orangey colour. That's what they look like. Um, um, they, they, you, you'll see these things. I'm going to use a brown here, but um, just so it shows. Oh, I'm using a purple. Um, xanthophils, which are actually yellow, but you won't see very well yellow very well on here. Um, 
these are just chemicals that happen to be able to um, interact with different wavelengths. That's all it is. There's nothing special about them. In fact, you can get many, many different types of these pigments. You know, we've simplified things here. Um, they're just not as efficient. That just happens to be um, the P700, P680, the most efficient wavelengths to pick up. Green, for example, um, green coloured light, green light in the, 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 uh, of a wavelength we'd think of as green, just can't get absorbed. There isn't the pigment to do it. Plants would be a lot more efficient if there was, but evolution doesn't work that way. It just works by what happened to, to work at the time. What these accessory pigments do is they're able to absorb some light, so this might be absorbing um, you know, a slightly bluer photon, this might be sort of absorbing a slightly uh, redder photon, whatever it is. But they can pass that energy along to photosetomol, and saying passing the energy along is fine. The actual mechanism, very complicated, we're not particularly interested in it for this. Excuse me. The idea is the accessory pigments can mop up, if you like, these extra wavelengths Photosystem 1 can do without them, but it's better just to get even more energy because it makes the whole thing uh, just that little bit more efficient. So chlorophyll B would be one of these um, pigments that would also be found in here, an accessory pigment. Chlorophyll A is our primary pigment, the one that's found um, at the reaction centre, at the bottom of the funnel if you like. This is the bit where the chemical reaction actually happens. All these are doing, absorbing energy and, and transferring it along. Okay, if that sounds a bit vague, don't worry, that's the depth that you need to go into. Um, and you don't need anything particularly deeper than that.